Good over here as well. I recently picked up another mop today. Same size as this one. So I think that'll be about probably a 800 watt microwave that will be from. The primary in this one's the same type of construction, so it could be a looks to be a high quality um, unit, good quality transformer. It's got I think it's got a little bit more winding, so it's a bit thicker on the primary than this one here is. I got some um, big heavy duty cable I'm going to rewind this with, but before I do that, without burning it out, I'm going to pop that light bulb in some crap headphones. So yeah. Got the little data plate, primary, secondary, filament, I think that means. It's got the smaller winding there, and those dots must mean um, shunts. So yeah, anything over 700 milliamps, this will start burning up. So these have too much limitations to be using as a high voltage transformer without the um, rest of the components in the microwave. So have some fun with it, blow some stuff up. And then I'm going to um, show you how I cut these windings out neatly when you want to rewind them. So let's get set up and we'll start burning some stuff. Okay, viewers, light bulb 3, 2, 1. Nice! It's going to pop! Well, that was a nice one. So unplug that for safety and I'm going to just quickly feel that the primary is not overheating. Heh, barely even there for them. Oh well, chance someone just popped the 10 amp breaker. Is out. The problem is barely warm. I took out the breaker though. Okay, have you? I don't think it's possible to burn these headphones out because the insulation on these is just going to break down straight away and burn the cords out. So they're probably not going to work. But here's a closer look at this light bulb. It was nearly about to pop. Bit of a bulge there. You can see the um, burnt to all the little stems that hold the filament away. The filament's all intact, while I, right up until I shook it. But you can see where it arced and melted the glass internally. There's a bit of a bulge in the light bulb here. The heat. It's got pretty hot in there. So that must be at least half an amp at max on the load in that transformer. Primarily got it starting to get warm and it chopped the 10 amp breaker. So protects the mot from going bad using the sensitive power board out there so yeah that's all I'm gonna be doing for today so I've got to find some other things I can pop maybe some big some big old pair of speakers or something that sound like crap that's always interesting so yeah might try popping some paper wax caps so that it might um, be a bit heavier load on that but yeah See what happens, got some little electrolytics there that can go pop. So yeah. Stay tuned for more. So yeah. Thanks for watching.